from the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City as you bring you the continuing coverage of the 2024 BBL Reinforced Conference. Now, what a matchup we have today for the Green Line Cool Smashers and Burn of the Pawns. They had that rough start, but they turned things around for themselves. Over to the other side of the court for the Cherry Tigo crossovers and Jasmine aboard. They have momentum on their side and they plan to keep it that way. Our second game for today's Tuesday triple header. We have the Cream Line Cool Smashers taking on the Cherry Tiga crossovers. And next up, we have the PLDT High Speed Hitters versus the Next Lid Chameleons. Thank you so much for joining us wherever you may be. You can catch us on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and of course, the Filipinas Live app. Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I'm Billy Capistrano, and joining me today, we have our courtside reporter, Jana Ihido, and we cannot wait for all the stories that you will share with us later on, Jana. But in the meantime, we're also joined by my partner over here, Z Hervasho. And Z, you know what? A lot of people have been waiting for this matchup. But it's oh, it's yes. an I cannot wait for this game. I mean, also, looking back, we've missed a couple of games because of the typhoon. Right. But now, the PVL is very much back here at the Phil Sports Arena. And today, we are going to witness the matchup between the Creamline Cool Smashers and the Cherry Tigo crossovers. But before that, let's check out the team standings in both pools. Um, today will be a Pool A day, but looking at Cherry Tigo still on top with six points, 2 and 0, oh, while Creamline is steady at third. And uh, today we'll see who will go up much, much further up in the ranks. And you know, considering the uh, very much new format that we have, the top, the bottom three teams of each pool will so cross over and uh, face the top three teams of the other pool. So it's very much um, important and crucial that all the teams will rack up as much wins and points uh, during the preliminary round, especially in this phase. That's right, for Cherry Tigo. Well, this is going to be a test of their consistency. Yes. Meanwhile, for the Cream Line Cool Smashers, they want to reassert their dominance here in our reinforced conference. All right, now let's take a look at some of our players. Let's talk about them, especially, you know, those players who have been leading the charge for their respective squads. We start things off with MG Michelle Gumabao from the Cream Line Cool Smashers Machine Gun MG. She has stepped up in the absence of the big three. Gemma Galanza, Eliza Valdez, and Tots Carlos. And this is not a surprise for Z because she has been a dependable player for Coach Sherwin. I think a dependable player is such a, you know, uh, an understatement. Especially Michelle Gumabao, always the leader inside the court. It's a good problem to have for the Cool Smashers. There's so many leaders, there's so many defendable players, and so many attacking and scoring athletes. Michelle Gumabao already has this opportunity to step up and lead the team. As you mentioned, yeah, they're missing three of their uh, MVPs. But uh, so far, Michelle Gumabao, the captain, the playing captain for the Cool Smashers, have been providing the much needed points 21 points against Farm Fresh in four sets. That is right. MG currently averaging 18.5 points per game, third best spiker, with a success rate of 37.50%. All right, over to the other side of the court. We got to talk about this girl on your screens, Aragalang of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. I've said this once, Z, I'll say it again. This is a resurgence of Ara, yes. and we love to see it. Correct. This is Ara's career renaissance. Sabi nga na ating mga writer, Ara Galang, 11 points and 11 digs. You know, uh, proven an all-around player. Ara Galang, uh, we've, we've missed this uh, form uh, from Ara. Very defensive, very offensive. The second um, uh, highest scorer for the Cherry Tigo crossovers next to Kat Bell. So number one local um, athlete ito for the Cherry Tigo. Uh, very steady on the floor and very dependable on the attacks. And uh, last conference nga, siya din ang number two after Aya Laure. So uh, we're looking forward how much more firepower can Ara Galang give. And you know, these are the kinds of stories that we love to hear. Oh, yes, After a definitely. lot of you know, setbacks for her injuries, yeah. she's back, she's better than ever, and it's great to see her find a new home with a Cherry Tigo crossover. I mean, you know, all the player movements this conference, and especially after the draft, you know, a lot of exciting things have been at play. So, you know, new faces in new teams in different um, scenarios. So, a lot of very exciting scenarios for the PBL. And we are all definitely here for it. All right, let's focus our attention now on our premier matchup. Alamo, it's always hard to choose just one because of the amount of talent that I we know. have in these rosters. But today, we shine the spotlight on our re 
enforcement. Si Erica Staunton of the Creamline Cool Smashers and Cat Bell of the Cherry Tigo Crossovers. And in the spirit of the Olympics, all eyes <laughs> on Team USA. That's right. We got some stars spangled battle here as we got two Americans facing off as they are our guest players here for Creamline and Cherry Tigo. Talking about Erica Staunton, 46 points so far for two games, while Cat Bell, 44 points in only two or three setter matches. So, you know, uh, Erica, Erica Staunton is just a fresh grad off of a Division I school, University of Georgia, while Cat Bell has uh, been here a while. We've heard her. She's not new to the game. She's not new to Philippine volleyball, and she has been the go-to veteran for Cherry Tigo. That is right. See, it is a vet versus the young gun. Kat currently averaging 22 points per game. Erica with 23. Given these numbers, it is going to be a battle up ahead for these two squads, these two reinforcements. All right, let's bring back Jana into the conversation again. Jana, what do you have for us? Well, Billy and Z, it's been exactly a week since we last saw action from Pool A, the teams in Pool A. And just to refresh everyone's memories, both Creamline and Cherry Tigo actually scored wins in their last outings, which was just last year. Tuesday and today is going to be a huge test on who is going to keep momentum. Well, I'll start with what I got from the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Of course, it's been a flawless record to start. And Kat Bell says that this start of the conference is everything she's ever asked for and dreamt about. She also adds how she doesn't want to put so much expectations on their games unless she and her teammates are playing on the court. But nonetheless, she tells me, and I quote, I know what Creamline are capable of and I'm in for a dogfight. Meanwhile, on the side of the Creamline Pool Smashers, Michelle Gumabao bared the team's keys to success that they'll be carrying on to their game today. And to her, it was better energy and effort that allowed them to stay afloat and draw one on the win column. Nonetheless, she adds that, that there's still so much to improve and work on, but of course, they'll retain the championship quality that they are known for. And of course, Creamline is definitely not new to that championship quality. They've won eight titles in the history of the PBL, but why don't the Cool Smashers themselves tell us all about it and their thoughts on the reinforced conference on Side Out? Hi, I'm Denise Lazar Regilia. And this is Kyle Negrito. And, and this, this is Side Out. Out. Our team this conference is the same cream line that we all know and love. Sobrang dami ko natutunan last conference. Uh, dami ko natutunan sa coaches, dami ko natutunan sa mga teammates. But overall, it's what I really appreciate about Streamline is yung we, we have each other's backs. I think last conference, mas pinatibay lang lahat ng nangyari yung samahan ng bawat isa, samahan ng team line. Na sinasabi nga namin na grabe yung ganyan na lang yung kapit namin. <laughs> but still, for me, I, I believe na we showed up when it mattered. And just take it one game at a time pa rin. Just minimal changes, adjustments lang naman just because we have a new teammate in Erica. And what I love about her is that, you know, she's just open to new things. And she loves being with us, I think. Yeah. She's always asking questions. Sobrang willing mag-adjust. And nakikita mo na gusto gusto niyang matuto. Well, I just think this is a really unique opportunity. So as soon as I was presented with this, um, I kind of knew that I couldn't say no because you never know when something like this is going to present itself ever again. I'm joining a very successful team already with several championships under their belts and just coming off a fresh championship. Um, so ideally, we get one more for the Creamline Cool Smashers, and I'm looking really forward to being part of that. First, I just want to thank you guys all for the love and support that you guys have given me since I got here. Um, it's very well seen and very well appreciated, um, and I'm really excited to be a part of something so exciting and so welcoming. So thank you guys. The same cream line we all know and love. We'd love to see more of that. And of course, we would love to hear your thoughts on this season, this reinforced conference. Why don't you tag us on 
the Filipinas Live app because we have a poll question that is running down your screens. Why don't we take a look at the poll question right now that you can check on the Filipinas Live app because we are asking which team will have better offensive execution. Will it be the Creamline Cool Smashers or the Cherry Figo Crossovers? We'd also love to hear your thoughts when you use the hashtag PDL2024. All right, there you have it. We're just about ready to rock and roll when we come back at Streamline versus Cherry Tigo, only here on Filipinas Live. Officials for this match, our first referee, Erlindo Yosebio, national referee. Second referee is Patrick Castillo, national referee. And now let's beat the starters first for the Cherry Tigo crossover. Outside spiker from the United States, number one team captain, Cat Bell. Center from the National University, number four, Jasmine Nabor. Opposite hitter from De La Salle University, number 10, Aragalang. Middle blocker from the University of the East, number 17, Seth Rodriguez. Outside spiker from NU, number 21, Seth Robles. Middle blocker from the Ateneo de Manila University, number 22, Pauline Gaston. Starting Limero from the Far Eastern University, number 24, Buting Durendez. Head coach for Cherry Tigo is Kung Fu Reyes. And now the starters for the Creamline Cool Smashers. Opposite enter from De La Salle University, number seven interim team captain, Michelle Gumabao. Center from the Far Eastern University, number one, Kyle Negrito. Middle blocker from the National University, number five, Risa Sato. Middle blocker from the Ateneo de Manila University, number 14, Bea de Leon. Opposite hitter from FEU, or outside spiker from FEU, number 19, Bernadette Pons. Outside spiker from the USA, number 22, Erica Staunton. Starting liberal from FEU, number 11, Kyla Atienza. Head coach for the Cold Smashers is Sherwin Meneses. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the Games and the Eastman's Board. It is Cherry Tico versus Creamline. This is the PBL, the heart of volleyball. Welcome back to the Phil Sports Arena as we bring you the game between the Cherry Tico crossovers and the Creamline Cool Smashers. Starters on your screens for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Wala pa silang talo here. Yes. And now we're reinforced conference. Billy Capistrano with Z Hervasho. As we take a look this time for the starters of the Creamline Cool Smashers. One win, one loss already in Pool A of our reinforced. Cherry Tigo looking very solid and steady at uh, the number one spot. Uh, both games that they've won uh, was in three straight sets, mm -hmm. so they're looking for another one today as Catbell receives that first ball. So Cherry Tigo, they have not dropped a single set here in our reinforced conference. And Cat Bell, the team captain out of Dallas, Texas, 
opening us up here in our set number one, Draws First Blood for the Red Shirt. You know, Kat Bell, uh, we had her over at starting lineup and she was sharing with me that she would always look forward to playing here in the Philippines because she feels like it's her second home. You know, it's not too hard for her to like live That's the right. athlete life here in uh, the Philippines knowing that, you know, she's been around the world already for volleyball. And she is very much welcome yeah. here in the country. A lot of fans for Cat Bell as well. When she was announced, na she's going to be reinforcement ng Cherry Tigo Crossers. And daming na towa. Oh, oh. And daming na kamis sa kanya. And she's feeling right at home with Cherry Tigo. And she goes for another one. Two straight points for Bell. Look at that. Cat Bell looking too easy for her. Great connection as well with Jasmine Nabor. And uh, she also shared because the last time she was here, she got stuck here since uh, the pandemic That's happened. Right. And uh, she's always looking forward to, you know, winning more championships. And this could be it for, for uh, Cherry Tigo if all goes well. But standing in their way, the Queen Line Co smashers. Another point for Cherry Tigo. It continues. Unforced error there on the side of the Cream Line Pool Smashers. You know, that's very much the Cream Line form that we know they make a lot of unforced errors, but they always make it up with their attacks. That's big ng bawi naman talaga ang Cool Smashers. Here comes Gomabao from the right pin. Popped up by Nabor. Aragalang! As we send this one to Jana Ehiro. Go ahead, Jana. Friendly reminder for everyone, Billy and Z, that this isn't the first time Kat Bell is playing here in the Philippines, of course. And in fact, she's now playing against her former teammates, Bernadette Pons and Denise Lazaro from her first stint here back in 2018. Kat shared with me that she has such high praise for both of them. She also adds that it is cool to have this experience in contrast to how she's used to playing with girls that she already has played with before in her words and I quote it's cool to get to know them as opponents after all Kat is after some good competition and is perfectly aware that she's going up against a champion team today and all this action that's about to unfold is available on the Filipinas live app download and subscribe now or watch via filipinaslive.com to get extensive PBL coverage back to you Billy and Z thank you so much for that report Jana and if there's one thing we know about Kat Bell she is very competitive oh yes <laughs> we can see that I right now say, you know mas gusto pa niya maglaro ngayon Correct. knowing that they're the champion team <laughs> and against her former teammates as well exactly right? and here comes Negrito to Bea de Leon smack in the middle for BDL Cool Smasher staying relentless in that last rally and uh Finally, Bea de Leon maximizing that free ball given to them. And from the looks of it, see, it's going to be a very, very interesting matchup oh, between both yes. our squads. Remember, in that first game, it was <laughs> yes. a five-setter. <laughs> <And, laughs> you, know, you never know. Nasa likod kami ni Z, pinapanood. Jaws at the net. Still playable. Ooh, it's gonna go to green line. Bea de Leon staying aggressive at the net. That ball already looked like it wasn't going to go Before over, but Bea four. just making sure they get that point. And Creamline definitely leveling up today. De Leon with two points under her belt. That's going to sail outside for Cherry Tigo. Pair of Seth Rodriguez who is starting today as well. Kung Fu on your screens, one of the busiest coaches as well we have <laughs> yes. in the Philippines right now, alongside Coach Dante. Nabor finds Kat. And that is another one for Kat Bell. Early on, three points for her. And if you really need a point, there's only one person you have to go to. <laughs> Who else? Sino ba? Sino ba? <laughs> Ito ata yung nasa screen natin. <laughs> but you know, Kat Bell also such an intimidating force oh, yes. when she's on the court. Gumabaw! That is another one here for MG, Machine Gun MG as Eliza Valdez looks on. We miss her here in this conference. 
Sabi nga natin, the health is wealth. And uh, guys, about this, taking this time, making sure everything's in check so that the next time they, she comes back on the hard court, talaga mabibigay na niya yung 100% na. And I was talking to her also off-season, no, Z. Sabi niya, time naman magpahinga. Yes. Kahit hindi siya sanay magpahinga, I know. magpapahinga mo na siya. Competitive din kasi talaga. So, you know, with these very high-level elite athletes, you know, unheard of yung pahinga. Yung pahinga sometimes... We, we get confused now. You know, it's resting, right. but it's not. It's it's active resting and uh, looking towards the longevity overall. And to come back stronger. Exactly. So you're not doing it for yourself, but for your team as well and the fans. Mm -hmm. We are at a deadlock. Six all. Rodriguez serving. Negrito finds Staunton. Popped up by Bell. Nabor from the back row. Cat Bell! Place her anywhere, she will absolutely deliver. And this spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. And that is Cat Bell for you, everyone. I wanted to go back to what you mentioned earlier, Billy. It looks very intimidating. And I wanted to say that na hindi ito yung itsura ni Cat Bell nung, nung guest namin sila sa starting lineup. Because she was so jolly, she was so bubbly. And right now, she's just so much in the zone, laser focus for Cat Bell. And you really, you really see it in her eyes that yeah. she came here to yeah. play and she came here to compete. So if you're green guy, again, you have to level up. Here comes... Erica on deck to serve for the white shirts. The board, quick one. To Pauline Gaston. And right now, Charitigo at eight, Creamline at seven. We will be right back. For Creamline. Spirits are at an all-time high here at the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City. Massive game between the Green Light Bull Smashers and the Teddy Eagle crossovers. Remind everybody, it is a Tuesday. Pero ang daming yes. tao sa arena ngayon enjoying this match. Both the fans of the Cool Smashers as well as the fans the of the crossovers. Billy Capistrano, Z Hervasho, Jana Ejido giving us the latest from the sidelines. Here we go. Bonds. She will join the scoring party here in Phil Sports. Scoring party indeed for the Full Smashers. We usually hear Michelle Bumaba, but do not discount Bernadette Pons, a very highly efficient attacker for the Full Smashers with, uh, you know, very high volleyball IQ. And she is currently averaging 13.5 points per game. And this one from Cez Robles, who started our match today. Cez Robles, usually we see her coming off the bench, but this time, Cherry uh, Tigo coaching staff choosing to start her this time around. Very interesting decision here for Coach Kung Fu. She will serve Negrito. Oh, wow, look at that. Great Impressive. anticipation, right? Here comes Ponce again, right on the money! Oh. Look at that, Bernadette Ponce finding the right spot, avoiding the blockers, avoiding the floor defenders. Look at that speed behind that spike. And we know she was going for quite a while, focusing on beach volleyball. She did say na, ngayon medyo naka-adjust na siya ulit mm -hmm. sa indoor setting. And it truly, it truly shows. And this will be 
an error here for Kyle Negrito. Puntos para sa Cheritigo. They're up by one. We have Pauline Gaston serving for the red shirts. Ooh, nice. MG. Midnight finding a way with that lazy. And of course, Michelle Gumabao just hammering it down. Once again, she had 52.8% efficiency behind her attacks in their last game against Farm Fresh Foxies. You know, I remember also a couple of uh, conferences ago, Eliza Valdez and Ella De Jesus sharing with me that itong si MG Tega napaka-competitive lagi. And, uh, you know, I think that's the culture of the Goal Smashers, just making sure they better each other, they uplift each other, and uh, overall, make a better team in the PBL. And that is not the first time we've heard that <laughs> about Dreamline. We all know how competitive they are. Lalo na si Michelle Gomabao, even during yes. her collegiate days oh, yes. with LaSalle. That, that is what she's known for. Here comes Erica challenging the blockers. One hand save from Nabor. Chance here. Oh, it sails outside. Tough break here for Gada. Got another deadlock here. This time, unforced error on the side of the crossovers. Co Coach Kung Fu, not too happy with that. And when he's unhappy, it will <laughs> clearly show on his face. Yes. Another deadlock, 11 all. A little too low for Risa Sato, straight to the net. Three point given to the crossovers. You know, that's it. That's Risa's style of uh, serving usually. Pag pito kagad, magsiserve kagad. But this time, maybe a little too quick behind that release. Cat Bell this time. Good reception. They go to MG from the right pin. Makes a way. Good decision making there also by Kyle Negrito. Choosing MG, knowing that her blocker is the shorter ones at this point. Says Robles one on one there. It has been neck to neck here in our first set as Jasmine Abor back sets to Aragalang. They're going to chase this one. Great hustle from Greenline, but that's going to be point number three for Gala. Kyla Tienza sacrificing her body there, but uh, all smiles as she was landing and getting up. Talagaga making sure, giving the best effort for every touch here. Rodriguez. Negrito goes to Staunton. Galang. Oh, with the help of the tape of the net for Aragalang. Aragalang producing points every time she gets that third <laughs> touch. A missed touch, but uh, with, the tape of, with the help of the tape of the net, getting that point. And a lot of people have been saying, Z, this is classic Aragalang. Yes. You mga OG fans. Yes. Yep, you mga yes. OG fans ni Ara. Tuwang tuwa with how she's playing right now. Again, this is her resurgence. Unfortunately, though, for Cess Robles, attack error for her. Able to adjust from that out of system set. Serving for Green Line, Eric. Scoreboard Sutton. reads 14 to 13 in favor of Cherry. Staunton on deck to serve for the white shirts. Nabor to Gaston. Oh, cross court for points. You gotta expect that the cool smashers are very much. On point with their transition plays. Look at that. The easy pickup from Michelle Gumabo. Look at that effort. Quick decision making on Kyle Negrito. Bernadette Pons just putting it away too easy. And she was ready for it. Talking about Pons. Great maturity for her as well with Dreamline. Negrito. Stotted from the back row. Cool smashers taking over. Once again in this set, capitalizing on uh, their foreign guest players. I think we got mm -hmm. a challenge. I believe so. As uh, players are gathered on the court. There you go. Let's confirm kung anong challenge yung tinawag ng Cherry Tigo. 
Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. Football challenge. So it's a pretty close or a very close first set that we're having right now. Let's see. Let's take a look at this. And here we go. Ooh, that is quite close though. But obviously, with the help of our challenge system, uh, shows us there was no infraction there on the side of the Smashers. So the play continues. It's going to be unsuccessful for Coach Kung Fu and the rest of the crossovers. Cream line still up by one. Staunton on deck to serve. Cat Bell from the back. Kyle. Cabea de Leon. Good connection there with uh, Kyle Negrito once again. A lot of free balls given to the Cool Smashers. As we head on over to this technical timeout, Cream Line 16, Charitigo at 14. Supportahan natin ang mga atletang Pilipino sa Paris Olympic Games 2024. Watch the games live from July 26 to August 11 on One Sports, One Sports Plus, RPTV, TV5, and Pilipinas Live app. Isang daang taong laban para sa bayan. So watching the game between Greenline, Erica Santan versus Cat Bell of the Cherry Eagle crossovers. 16 for the Cool Smashers, 14 for Cherry Tigo. It's a fourth and nothing run for the Cool Smashers. Cat Bell! Well, that goes to Cherry Tigo. I was just gonna say, you know, Cherry Tigo seems like they're having a tough time converting uh, points, especially now that Cat Bell is in the back row, but uh, Jasmine Nabor just choosing a couple of options here and there and uh, giving Cat Bell some back row sets. And with that, we also have some substitutions for Coach Kung Fu. We have Mai Paat and Alina Bikar joining their teammates for the first time today. Gaston, nothing. Santan from the back row. Bikar to Pauline. That is outside. Pauline Gaston trying to avoid the hands of her blockers there, but a little too wide on the execution. Good timing pa naman sana. It looked like a, a good sequence here for Cherry Tigo. They gotta come up with something good. They're down by two. Luckily for them, that's gonna be a service error. Some breathing room here for, for the crossovers. Or usually we expect aces or bad passes from Bea de Leon serves, but uh, we did not jinx it for uh, everybody's uh, reference. <laughs> so a sigh of relief for, for Cherry Tigo this time. <laughs> One point advantage for Cream Line. Bonds out of nowhere. It's always going to be that next man of mentality. And for her, she's ready for it. With Gemma, Eliza, and Tots not playing right now right. for Dreamlight, the other players really have to step up. And you know, that kind of play has been Dreamlight's sport ever since. We've seen that a lot of times from uh, Gemma Galanza in the last conference. But since she's sitting out, uh, it's, it's up to Pons. 
A while ago, they're up by three versus a Cherry Kia crossover. It's the ever competitive Cat Bell making waves here in the reinforced conference. Negrito will serve for the white shirts. Another lucky one for Creamline. That's two for two for Kyle Negrito this time with the help of the net once again. Look at that. Not uh, a crossover in sight with that first pass. Yun pa naman sabi ni Coach Kung Fu during the timeout. Yun yung kailangan, passing, right? Here comes Scott Bell from the left. Bop, wow. bop. Good day. Oh, oh, she said, what? <laughs> I'll do it again. Much better this time. But really, you got to commend, you know, uh, Kyle Atienza also for, oh, yeah. for that first dig. That's not an easy feat. I mean, that, that second time also, Kyle Atienza adjusting, uh, expecting a shorter hit, which Catbell did, but execution-wise, it's just much, much, much shorter and faster. And how quickly it happened as well. Creamline was not ready for it. Negrito looks to Gumawa with one of her own. So good Kaga Michelle Gumaba with that heavy hammer on that left side. It seems like she's pretty comfortable playing on that uh, left front. So aside from the reinforcements going up against each other, we also have MG versus Scott Bell. That's gonna be a <laughs> great matchup. Bikar finds Bell. Solid digging. Where the floor to Bell again. This Cat Bell just hyping up her teammates in that last rally. She has been going cross court, but Pilat Yenza just proving to be a solid floor defender in that last hit, opting for that down the line hit. You also like to see how vocal she is oh, yeah. as oh, a leader. Yes. And when she talks to everybody is going to listen. All ears in attention for Cat Bell here. Quick one. Risa Sato. Again, Risa Sato always showing us a lot of varieties behind her attacks and serves at that. But uh, look at this. It looks like a miss hit, but I mean, in volleyball, a point is a point. And it's a four point push for the Cool Smashers in our first set. If you're Cherry Tico, you gotta come up with something good. Substitution here, we got Abby Marano. Ella De Jesus as well for Cream Lion, she will serve. Cat waiting for it, goes for the drop, good cover. Gumabao, nobody there! soft on the Cat Bell attack. Opportunity for Creamline there to attack and expect that MG will get a point, especially at the tail end of the set. As Cherry Tigo will call for time. block, Yo, gumagalaw yung depensa natin. Problema yung taong sa support, ha? Sumitigil. Uh, ah, nakababa na yan, eh. Kaya tamo na, nakababa na si, no, si Libero natin. Tulong na lang tayo. May nagtatrabaho sa atakin sa, sa ibabaw sa atin. Nandun siga, tumakatakin. Pero yung depensa sa ilalim ko, yung bahala. Okay? Mas marami tayong lokal. Kaya magtrabaho dito. Kaya yan! Chee! Hi! Rallying the girls together to fight till the end of the set on your screens. 
few people that we miss seeing oh, on the yes. court and some new additions also to the roster of Creamline. I mean, despite their absence on the hard court, look at Creamline just hustling through. We love to see it from the Cool Smashers, but if there's one person they gotta stop, see, it's definitely Cat Bell right now. Get this nine points for Bell. I hope that's enough uh, opportunity for Cat Bell to maximize her front row presence as uh, she is now in the back row, ready to serve. Erica fights her way through, puts Streamline at set point. Here Gaston uh, not letting any opportunity pass. Good first ball there from Bernadette Pons tooling Aragalang in that last hit. Serving for the set, we have Ditch Rodriguez. They go to Cat with a drop. Negrito. We'll go to Berta Fons. Dug up. Oh. Oh, that is going to be an error. Second called referee called the net infraction. But of course, Charitigo will call a challenge on that one. You know, earlier when you mentioned that Abby Marano is subbed in, it feels like kasi kulang ng energy. Ng firepower. Ito, oh, nag, uh, good body language ito, Charitigo. Right. We're very... Uh, and not used to seeing that because we know Chang Abi, Pauline Gaston, and Kat Bell, that trio alone can provide much needed energy boost for the crossovers. But it's a little today, so far here in set number one. So we gotta we gotta see a change in, in energy, a shift yeah. in the vibes yeah. Yeah. of Cherry Tigo. And I guess it's also never going to be easy going up against Streamline. You know, they're the winningest team in PV, the That's PVL. Right. That's right. So you really have to pull out all the put out all the stops I if mean, you're going to go against them. Looking at your screens also, Pauline Gaston, not in her usual uh, happy, funny, yes. ha happy mode. Was there, there a net touch? I think uh, Abby was a little bit too far on that yep. net. I guess it was the ball that made it seem that mm -hmm. she touched the net. But uh, luckily for us and for the crossovers, we have this challenge system in place. It's going to be a successful challenge for Coach Kung Fu. We got a replay here. Yeah, they have to replay yeah. the point. Yep. Replay the, co the, the last point mm -hmm. since it was a successful challenge. So serve goes to the Cool Smashers once again. The play continues. Creamline will still be at set point. Charitigo at 19. Vig Rodriguez continuing to serve here for the white shirts. Jasmine Abor to Cat Bell. Oh, she is fired up here in the first set, doing everything she can see to keep them afloat in the first. She may not be in the front row, but look at her back row attacks, just as powerful and fast and quick. And she has reached double digits, 10 points wow. for Cat. Oh, good serve. Negrito to Stanton. And again, reinforcement versus reinforcement. What a way to finish our set number one. Erica Staunton finishing things off here for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. But here we gotta take a look at Bernadette Juan Sabinganya. She has adjusted to the indoor volleyball scene again after being gone for quite for quite a long time. And she is back, she's better than ever. The young gun doing big things for the cool smashers. They take the first set from the Cherry Tigo process.
At the top of the coverage, we were talking about how a lot of people were excited for this match. Well, it is definitely living up to the hype as the Cool Smashers take set number one from the Cherry Tigo crossovers in 29 minutes of play. Billy Capistrano with Z Hervasha. And what a set number one we had. Z, a lot of powerful, explosive attacks on both ends of the court. I mean, looking at, looking at the stat sheets here, so far for set number one, already four athletes on the side of the Cool Smashers making a lot of points. Considering for a first set, we got MG with five, Bonds with five, Stanton with three, BDL with four. Meanwhile, on the other side, it's only Kat Bell and Aragalan producing much needed points for the Cherry Tigo crossovers with nine and four, respectively. Looking at the screens right now in terms of attack, once again, as expected, Creamline just out producing their opponent 19 to 15 attacks, zero blocks for both squads. Aces, in the meantime, that was uh, courtesy of Kyle Negrito. Uh, on the tail end, at the tail end of that set number one, and uh, errors once again, ang uh, nagkatalo five to four. Although it's little too tight or close to each other, it's really the timing of when it happens that's very crucial. And here we go, set number two underway, and we are welcome back by Risa Sato with a signature move. So you always have to expect that Risa will always approach for the ball no matter where the first ball ends up in uh, you know that's i remember so vividly when uh, creamline was just a new team in the pvl that's the thing that i admired with uh, gia and uh, risa that connection na kahit saan si gia gumawak ng second ball risa will always always approach and go for the attack it's also part of their system and we all know you streamline two smashers right that's why uh, we talked about it in the first set. There's always that next man up mentality because yeah. everybody's yeah. just ready. They yes. all have you know that same system yeah. that they have been studying or banking on. As Negrito sends this one to Erica Stanton. Erica Stanton, uh, you know she shared how she's still adjusting to that low fast set as uh, we saw the latest addition to the cool smashers, Alia Torres, on your screens a while ago. We can't wait to also see her play. Yes. Hopefully here in the reinforced conference, Kat Bell changing that tempo. Stanton has to make do with this one. Oh, oh Kat wow. Bell was ready for it. Saying thank you, Erica, for that one. I mean, once again, Kat Bell just staying aggressive at the net will take advantage for every opportunity that come her way. After that attack by Kat Bell, I, I saw the, uh, the look on MG's face. She was just smiling. <laughs> kind of saying, okay. I see my you. turn, my turn next. Kat Bell. Wow, look at the defense. Out of Pass it. That's right, to Staunton. They go to Aragalang. Looks it in. Staunton and uh, Bea de Leon a little too far from the net for that block. Managing to squeeze that ball in between them. Nice choice of a blocker for Aragana. Choosing BDL who's uh, chasing after that hit. Pero sumagot at umawi. Biglang bawi si BDL as we turn it over to Jana Ehiro. Go ahead, Jana. Billy and Z, the last time these two teams faced each other was back in the All-Filipino Conference where in the Cherry Tigo crossover swept the cream line cool smashers and this time around even without three mvps on the side of the cool smashers they still handed cherry tigo their first set loss of the conference and this is testament to coach sherwin menezes assurance of the team being a strong team regardless recognizing how this is a rather short conference coach sherwin shares that he wants some momentum on their side after that first win saying and i quote Sana maging sunod -sunod na to. now with a set victory in their back as we speak let's see how momentum is going to pan out for them on the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Billy and Z. Thank you so much for that report, Jana. Well, momentum really plays such an important role oh, yeah. here in the Reinforced Conference, especially given this new tournament format. Yes. Very condensed. Very condensed, right? So every single game holds a lot more weight. Very, very important to get back on track every time that you do a match. Let's take a look at this. The spike of the set is brought to you by Dunkin. Pasalubong ng bayan. You got Zir Basha with a 
deflection <laughs> with the block. <laughs> play when uh, Kyle Negrito chooses to activate the middle blockers, Bay de Leon, so far with six points, actually the leading scorer so far for the Cool Smashers. If you see, we have Kangs Panaga, who is not joining us today. Her mother passed away a couple of days ago. Send our deepest condolences to the Panaga family. Yep. And I'm sure this game will be dedicated to Kangs' mother. As we take a look at this attack from Aragada. Two-point lead for Charitigo. Gaston will serve. Good pass. De Grito. Will I want to play? No go. Point ends up. Good crossovers. Yeah, De Leon admitting to that net infraction so far. Charitigo getting the groove here early on in set number two. Staying aggressive at the net and providing a much needed uh, defense on the floor. So we're still looking for that energy here. Yeah. From the crossovers. Bird of the again out of nowhere. Look at that. A shorter runway for Bernard and Fons for that play, but uh, never mind that. She still gets one. They're down by three. Sasato on your screens, as well as Kyle Negrito. Here comes Bea de Leon. Cat Bell from the back. They weren't ready for it. Cat Bell choosing uh, that uh, left back position. Uh, well, she knows that Bea de Leon is there and not a libero. Sports Arena, thank you so much for joining us on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and Filipinas Live. We got uh, Aaron uh, Velez, one of the coaches coaches of the charity crossovers on the sidelines there, looking on, trying to provide insights from uh, a different perspective there. As well as Joy Mika Gande from National University. They gotta solve this bird and bonds problem. Talking about the charity <laughs> crossovers. She's been doing a lot of wonderful things here for Cream Nine. Really great connection also that we're seeing here with Kyle Negrito. So far, you know, a lot of kusinong uh, matapat sa harap gumagawa. Talking about the cool smashers. Look at that, Michelle Gumabao. Solid block against Dapol. Who uh, substituted uh, for. Robles, if I'm not mistaken. And right now, we have Cream Nine just down by one. And that's what you like about the Cool Smashers. See, they hardly ever get frazzled. Oh, yes. Lots of composure. Cat Bell will try challenging the blockers of Cream Nine. And of course, she's going to get it. 15 big markers for Cat Bell. Look now, she's now in the front row. Expect that a lot of uh, sets will be given her way. At the reception for Lazaro Revilla, another one from Bernadette Pons. Again, the plays and transitions.
positions of the post managers have been uh, very invincible, especially patong play na you, it's, it's really confusing for the blockers and uh, the floor defenders as well. Also steady on serving, Ponce is. Erica from the left pin. And it continues here for Creamline as they tie this game. We are at 9 all now as Erica Staunton. I mean, a good defense there for our, uh, from Aragalang, but a little overcooked. Another opportunity there for Eric Stanton, making sure she pounds it down. Catbell saves it. It's a chance here for the white shirt, Stanton. Erica asking for it again. Yeah. Of course she will. I heard that. She asked for that ball. Imagine the Katinina in that free ball first touch. Look at this. Stanton knowing where to put the ball. Jasmine the board in front of her unfazed. As Chetty Tigo will be forced to call for time. Hey, yung block natin ba? Masyadong ano, bigay na agad eh. Trabawin muna natin. Gaya na sinasabi natin kanina, tapusin yung trabaho mo. Nagpapakita lang kayo, nagbabla kayo, nakita kayo nagsparkin sa kapila. Sana maka-adjust yung defensa natin. Machida timeout here for Cherry Tigo. They lost their lead. 10 to 9, our scoreboard reads Scott Bell. We talked about her, one of the most vocal leaders they have on the court. Expect her teammates to listen. Of course, we have EJ Taurin looking on, cheering for her team as well. You know, that's the uh, beauty of uh, how the PVL is right now. A lot of teams with uh, more than 14 in their pool. So, you know, the coaches would have that opportunity to mix and That's match right. and find the right blend, the right uh, number of players inside. But so far in that last rally, Coach Kung Fu asking for a overhead infraction. Overreaching, sorry, rather. At any rate, uh, but, uh, yeah. continues, play continues. Cream lines up by two. Abby, no. That's going to be a quick one or a one-two play from Jasmine Abor. Chance here for Cherry Tigo. Cat popped up. Yeah, players scrambling for the ball. That's going to go to Cherry Tigo. Miscue there between Kyle and uh, MG. <laughs> Paul Sherwin asking for a clarification why there was an infraction on their side, saying "ni naman illegal attack," but call remains. And they score off of that ace from Abby Marano. That's gonna be her first point of the game. We have Chang Abby. Speaking of vocal leaders, is yeah. na I'm hoping to bring that firepower, that fire back here for Cherry Tigo. As Negrito looks for Risa Sato. Risa Sato, just knowing where to put the ball. You, know, you don't see a lot of power spikes from Risa, but it's always really quick. Tsaka sobrang nakakalim lang kung saan, kung gano'ng kabilis o bagal yung mga bola niya. Just pushes the ball to where she wants it to right. go, basically. One point lead for Creamline, Cat Bell. This time above and beyond her blockers. Maximizing that height advantage. Look at that. And she is doing everything she can here for Chetty Tigo. She has 16 wow. right now. And we're not even past the halfway mark here in our set. <laughs> Difficult um, angles on that one for Katbel to pick it up. It's 
been a seesaw battle here for Creamline and Cherry Tigo. Gumabao now with six points. Mm. Yeah, miscommunication for, for Cherry Tigo. That was just a little too eager to follow that ball as uh, she was supporting Cat Bell on uh, that path. But did not think it was on its way out. Jasmine Abor goes to Gaston. Nothing. They go to Staunton. Pat Bell again. One hand save from MG. Erica. Wow. What an angle. A miss. I mean, I think that's two for two on that angle alone. Look at the defense on the side of the Cool Smashers. Really relentless, making sure they get a touch for every ball. Kyle Negrito acknowledging that Erica's in front and can do a lot with out of system sets. Now a three point ball game for Creamline. Everything going right for the Cool Smashers. Babalik's uh, white shirts on Bola. They try one more time. Better the floor. Wow. Goes to Cat Bell, stops the bleeding. You know, it's not the power that we we're seeing from the imports right now, but it's really the quickness of that spike. Look at this, Cat Bell just using her body also, that torque to pound it down. Great court awareness for both of our reinforcements. We expect nothing less from these two. Outside for Negrito, who was encouraged by her teammates. Karen Berry de Flor just followed that ball all the way out. Good court awareness and IQ there, working a double time on the floor. Back to a one point advantage here for Creamline. Negrito goes to Stanton. Taps the ball. Chance for the white shirts. The ball. Charitigo, they go to Arangalang. Good cover from Negrito. Erica. Again, you got players scrambling for that ball. Charitigo is a little worried now at three line. Sends us to our second technical timeout. Deal crossovers are down two points against the green line from the Smashers. Ara Galang, 11 points, 11 excellent digs in their previous match. Right now, looking to help her team in our second set. On the other side, we have Bernadette Fonts' incredible volleyball that she Bernadette has been line, showcasing for her squad as Erica Staunton will be on deck to serve for the cool Smashers. We have Karandang. She's joined her teammates on the court. She is blocked. Fresh off the bench, Zakarandang. Just a little too low on the clearance on that one. Look at that, Bebe Leon, making sure she follows her around. So we already have Coach Kung Fu trying out different combinations yeah. here. Player combinations for Cherry Tigo. 
They're down by three points. Staunton serving still. Aragala! A much needed point here for the crossovers. Aragala looking pretty solid this conference so far. It's really that one two punch that we see Kat Bell Aragala for the crossovers. You also have Abby Marano, who we saw on your screens. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. The playable. It goes to Cherry Tigo. Abby. Nope. Ara. Yes. I guess this time around, Alina Bicar knowing who to set, especially that Cat Bell is in the back row. Ara Galang, 2 for 2 in the last sequence. Look at this. This time, a combination play and the Iwas na Iwasa blockers and floor defenders. Kung suma isa block, quick mo na. Huwag eh quick, back quick. Korte nga yan eh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, go girl. Kung nagdalangan ko na pati, ba't mo dito eh? Kaso sobrang ganda ng receive eh. Ha, palo ha, let's go. Come in, come in, come in. All in, green line. Happy! Yeah, Coach Shorewin Manessas and the rest of the green line who smashers holding on to a slim one point lead. MG or Michelle Kubaba, she has been that leader here for the Cruz Smashers in the absence of, of course, Alaiso Pantes, who is taking a bit of a break. We have Cat Bell, 17 points for our reinforcement on the Cherry Team side. Kyle. Recover from Karandang, they go to Daps Dapol. Negrito. To start it from the back. Popped up by Karandang. That's going to go to the Cool Smashers. You know, that's a sign of a high volleyball IQ for your setter there, Kaya Negrito, just following the ball, making sure she gets that second touch. Because, you know, chances are there's a blocker following you and trying to block that ball point given to the Cool Smashers. Early on here in this tournament, Kyle Negrito, the second best setter in terms of our rankings. Abi Marano fires away. <laughs> point number two for Chang Abi. Chang Abi making a little bit more noise here for the crossovers off the bench earlier, set number one. Providing much needed energy as well for the Cheritigo squad. Cheritigo still trailing behind by one. Daps gets this point. Now you can see Cheritigo slowly yeah. coming alive here. Yes. In our second set, they tie this ball game 18 apiece. Last time they were up was that first technical timeout, 8 to 5. But since then, Creamline has taken over. But don't look now. Cheritigo is here. Good cover from Aragalang. Negrito will go to Sato. Nothing. They go to Catbell from the back row. Babalik sa Cheritigo. Chance for the white shirts. They give this one to Pons. And of course, she's going to do that. Bernadette Pons just adjusting to the sets thrown at her. Look at that. No matter how quick, high or low the transitions are, it's no problem for Bernadette Pons. So always find a way and she will execute it perfectly. Negrita serving. Bikar, bump set. Kyle. The MG and she is denied. Great timing there for Daps Dapol. Look at that one more time. She knows that she had to deny Michelle Gumabao. They continue on. Deadlock here, 19 all. They go to MG. Jaws up the net. It goes to green line. Bonds asking for it. Bernadette Bonds, just a lot of 
angles, a lot of options for her. That last time she got blocked, and this time, look at the clearance from that ball. If it's just that one, one foot beside the antenna, pinalusot. Nobody to answer for that one. When she was in FEU, we knew she was good. Oh, yeah. Hashtag See, MV Ponce. <laughs> but right now, she's on another level. As Gumabao tries and is unsuccessful. They go to Maraño with a swipe. Sherry Pico making sure that the pool smashers won't have that much advantage. Keeping things close here in set number two. A little bit more, um, parang maliksi ngayon itong uh, Cherry Tigo, set number two. They're inching closer. Always will find three nine with an answer. Look at that, Alina Bekar. A lot of hustle, the part of Alina Bekar, but you also have to have that presence of mind, I guess, when you're on the court, daming adrenaline, right? Definitely. We never want anybody to, to get injured or have anything happen to them that we don't want to see. We got substitutions on the floor from both squads. Service specialist uh, Ella de Jesus checking in. And a setter switch for the crossovers. Nabor is back in. One point push for the cool smashers as we inch closer to the tail end of our second set. Yep, and there's who's getting ready to serve for Green Line. again. It was a good touch and a reflex from uh, Cal Negrito, but nobody to answer for that second ball. It's going to be a problem area here for, for Cherry Tigo. And Erica Staunton knows this. Erica Staunton already making nine points alone in this set. A total of 13 overall. At second set, pa lang tayo, and she has been very effective for the Cool Smashers. They're gonna give this one to Bell again. 19 big ones for Cat. Cat Bell, the competitive athlete that she is, will make sure that she converts right away for every touch. And she'll be at the service line. For the crossovers, we are tied 22 all. Negrito to Bea de Leon. Aragalang. That goes to Green Line. Sails outside, but they will be calling a challenge on that one, a block touch. Aragalang was just a little under that ball. That's why the trajectory was on its way out. But they said that there was a touch by the blockers. So we will wait and see what the final result, or final results is for this block touch challenge, which is called by the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Right now we are tied 22 all, so it's going down to the wire in our second set. And of course we expected this. I know yeah. the fans <laughs> are happy that this game has been Really, really interesting, really exciting so far. And we love to see it from these two teams. Cherry Tigo, Creamline, they've met a total of 17 times here in the PBL. Oh, yes. Creamline owns the winning record in the series, 13 to 4. Look so. at Kat Bell go, talking to her teammates, making sure everybody's on the same page. They're three points away from uh, stealing one set away from cream line and i'm sure she would be the most intense person making <laughs> sure everybody knows what to do at this point an elite athlete on your screen scott bell again from dallas texas not a stranger to uh, philippine volleyball we've seen her before 
bringing that same energy here in the country again. Coach Kung Fu Reyes, as you mentioned, one of the busiest coaches that we have in the Philippines. Still awaiting the result of our block touch challenge, which gives our teams ample time to gather and reset. Because again, this is going to be a very crucial time towards the end of our second. For those who just tuned in, it's Creamline versus Cherry Tigo, Billy Capistano, Z Hervasho, and Jana Ejido. A while ago, we saw the Farm Fresh Foxies. They beat Galleries Tower in five sets. Incredible game for these two squads. That was the first win of the Foxies. Galleries still winless in our tournament. Both teams in Pool A. Later on, we have PLDT versus Next. Let another good one coming up. Aragalang doing some jumping jacks. <laughs> Making make sure <laughs> they stay warm. That's right. While we wait for the decision from our technical officials, making sure they make the right mm -hmm. call, especially at the, this very tight situation Absolutely. here in set number two. At the top of the coverage, you're talking to Ara, talking about Aragada. Had a word with uh, Cat Bell, trying to get some clarification on this. It is inconclusive. Yeah. yeah. Seems like it when I saw the first referee already calling the the, the captains. It seems like they did not really have a clear answer to that challenge request. We can't really rely on our broadcast cameras right. as well. So at, at any rate, we continue on with our game. We're tied 22 all, Staunton serving. Nabor gives it to Aragalang. No problem there, says Aragalang. We'll make a clean point for you. Come on, you jumping jacks. That's going to be her ninth of the ball game. The right clip of the wrist. Touching that end line and giving their points. Tied at 23. Negrito to Bea de Leon. There's going to be a, a touch, I think, for Cherry Tigo. That's Abby Marano. Abby Marano already been called twice for a net touch. Sato returning here. Set point now on Cream Line Cool Smashers. Puts him at a big, big advantage. They won in that first set. De Leon will serve. Nabor finds Cat Bell from the back row, making things happen for Cherry Nigo. Once again, if you really, really need a point, you always have to choose your foreign guest player, Cat Bell, have been proven to be the go-to girl for the crossovers. 24 all is on the scoreboard. Habalike <laughs> Pons! Oh! Ooh! Good recovery. Still playable. I can see the... Challenge there. Are they calling one? They are gonna call one. The players from Cherokee are pretty, pretty certain that there was a block touch on that attack. So again, we will have to wait and see what the final call is and what the final decision is. Hopefully, it's not inconclusive. Yung, yeah. yung <laughs> challenge na to. Sabay sabay yung mga crossovers nagsabi na it was a check ball, but look at this on your screen. There seemed to be a substitution happening in just a bit when we find out the results of the challenge here. Coach Kung Fu talking to the ladies on the court. Specific instructions probably given at this time, 24 all. And I think we might be seeing it right about now. There we go. Was there a block touch? I think clear 
stress day. It was an index yeah. finger, yep, right? Yep, yep. So the eagle eyes for Terry Eagle. That's a crucial one oh, yes. for the crossovers. They're now at set point. The tide, the tide has turned, but there will be a timeout called by Coach Sherwin Minnes. Be quick, be quick. And you heard it straight from Cream Line. Let's have some fun. That's what it's all about for them. Just enjoying the game, not putting too much pressure on themselves. Even though it may seem like a pressure pack situation now because Cherry Digo, they are at set point 25 to 24. I mean, they were already at set point earlier, but Cherry Tigo just uh, trying to challenge them more, getting a 2 0 run there as Aragala prepares for the serve. Over receive. It goes to Cream Line, but yep. the point will go to the Cherry Tigo crossovers. What a, what a valiant effort here oh, yeah. for oh, Cherry yeah. Tigo. I mean, take a look at Cat Bell. 20 points here in this whole game. We're only at the second set. What heroics she has displayed for the crossovers. Not only is she a powerful attacker, but she's a great leader as well. Cherry Tigo in Cat, we trust that is exactly what they're going to say. 24 to 26, Cherry takes set number two.
And just like that, we are tied with one set apiece as that second set went to the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Take a look at the score, 24 to 26, 36 minutes of play. And they avenged themselves from that set number one. See what went right for Cherry Tigo, what went wrong here for the cool smashes because it kind of looked like Creamline was going to get away yeah. with that second set. I mean, Creamline got to the set point first. That was 24 to 23. And uh, the thing is, the last two points that was given to Creamline was from errors by Cherry Tigo. So it seemed like it was already going uh, to the Cool Smashers way, but Cherry Tigo, led by Cat Bell, she really maximized those challenge uh, moments, that time to talk to her teammates, to make sure everybody's on the same page, to make sure everybody's focused to get those next three points, and that they did. Look at this, 21 attack points. This time, Cherry Tigo um, outproducing the Cool Smashers, but the blocking has been on point so far for Creamline Aces. Get, uh, they, they both get one a, a piece and uh, for your opponent errors they got to minimize it to just three so whatever happens we are assured of at least a four set match on your screen here jordan bartlett and jen nirva out of nu jordan of course played for nu for i, I believe a year two years transferred to the sal they're enjoying this game together for supporting the cherry tigo crossovers mj phillips as well on your screens, cannot wait to see her back for Petrogas. Set number three, here we go. Here we go indeed. It's gonna be a good one, we can already feel it. Abby Marano will set this one up to Kat. Berta Pons, Babalik, Sakrim Line. She will try again, popped up. Nabor to Cat. X mark spot for Cat Bell. Already landed in, but it was a little too long. But Cat Bell already knew that there was a touch, and she does get that point. A fierce competitor, Cat Bell <laughs> is as Karandang checks in. Bonds. And of course, we know she loves that play. Oh, yes. Very, very effective play for the Cool Smashers. It has been their signature move, and uh, it, uh, it ha always have been producing points for whoever executes it. We've seen Gemma, now we're seeing Bernadette Pons, Eliza Valdez before as well. So, signature play here for the Cool Smashers, as you mentioned. Block. Blocking is great for Creamline. And now you're kind of seeing the glimpses yes. of that energy. Yes. Na hinahanap natin si nung first and second sets here for Cherry Tigo. Nabuhayan after that second set. And if you're a Cherry Tigo fan, you hope it continues until the end. I mean, I, I, I think I was gonna say that earlier. I noticed how, you know, I feel like Cherry Tigo is a little too serious mm -hmm. to their disadvantage that's right. because that's not their character. Their character is happy, lively. Once again, talking about yung tatlo palang, Kat Bell, Pauline Gaston, Chang Abby, sila yung energizer bunnies of the crossovers. But uh, so they started this game a little too serious, but now you're seeing Kat Bell showing a little bit of smile here and there. And another one, I hope, for Kat Bell. Maybe later, she said. But at any rate, she isn't doing damage here for the crossovers. Business as usual for Kat Bell. Look at that powering through her blockers. It's 23 points for Kat Bell in our ball game. Gumabao, she's been silent. Nabor to Kat Bell again. Blocked. Triple block on her. Galang with a drop. Oh, wow. Ball still live. Galang passes it to Daps. Oh! Daps double <laughs> through her blockers this time. I mean, earlier I saw a glimpse of how she's been providing that much right. needed floor defense, which, you know, that's one of the weaknesses so far of the Cherry Tigo crossovers 
Um, kanina, ang dami natin nakita na banggaan between right. Buding and Kat. So a little bit scrappy on the floor defense pattern, but it has been working so far here for the crossovers. Trying to make it a little bit cleaner this time around. This one will go to the cool smashers. They're down by just one here. Kumabao just scored two points in the previous set. They need her more than ever now. Jasmine Nabor finds Daps, oh! breaking the block as we turn it over to Jana Ejido. Billy and Z improved blocking was the conversation in almost every timeout of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Back in set and number two. And blocking, especially with that stacked middle blocker lineup, was also something they've been working on in the preseason. And that girl on your screens is one of the crossovers that has seen so much growth in her role, Seth Rodriguez, earning her spot in the starting lineup today and making significant contributions to the team. Seth tells me, and I quote, Dati pinapasok lang ako sa court para ma-challenge yung kalaban ngayon na feel ko yung contributions ko and especially my bigger role. Seth went on to tell me that she feels so much more confident being on the court and that the last time she's felt this way was still in her UAAP days with UE. So let's find out if we can see more of Seth, which you can catch on the Filipinas Live app. Just have to subscribe now for only 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Billy and Z. Thank you so much, Jana. It's great to see you know players being given that opportunity mm -hmm. to play on the court. As you mentioned, I mean, the roster is a daming players uh, so rosters in the team. Natin. Right, and uh, let's not go too far. I mean, look at this. Daps Dapo providing exactly. defense and offense this time. A new addition to the crossover franchise and has been a very effective in this match. Remember, for the crossovers, we will not see Aya, Aya Laure, as well as Jen Yerva, who we actually saw, but just watching the game today, they have Alas duties to uh -huh. take care of. Back to this ball game, one point lead, Jerry Tigo, the day on serves. Kat Bell putting on her setter hat, will not go over. Making sure that this time she doesn't get a double contact valuation, but uh, that's that ball unable to anticipate where that uh, out of system ball was going. Another deadlock, six all. Bea de Leon now with six attacks and one block. Labor. Yes! A smart move from yeah. Jasmine Labor. Knew that set was going to be a little bit too tight, so decided, you know what, just go for it. Acknowledging that she can uh, jump and attack as she's the she's in the front row and uh, knowing that Zone Five has usually um, nobody playing defense. Here comes Bonds. Goes cross court. Look at that Bernadette Bonds with that attack. Let's look at that one more time. A textbook play for from the Cool Smashers. And she's the uh, third highest scorer in our match today, right behind our reinforcements. What a good save. Chance for the white shirts. Bonds again. Oh, it's still playable. <laughs> oh, they're going to call. I mean, uh, plays won't stop unless they hear a whistle. And there wasn't any blown, but uh, Streamline was saying there was already a floor touch and we're asking for their point. It's going to be a, a tricky challenge here for the Creamline Cool Smashers. If it is an unsuccessful challenge, Z, it will go to Cherry Tigo, correct? Right, right. Because of that attack by yeah. Kat Bell. A lot of exciting plays, a lot of interesting plays that we have been watching <laughs> yeah. in Bill Sports today. And I'm sure the fans, everybody watching, whether that's on One Sports, One Sports Plus, or Filipina Style, or even the fans here at Bill Sports having a great time enjoying this match. We take a look at our challenge over here that is Ara Galang. Clearly a floor touch for Ara. Probably had a touch 
on that ball, but uh, you know, the rules are if there's any part of the ball yep. that touches the floor, it's an error. Sama-sama tayo sa laban ngayong Olympic Games Paris 2024 with Signal. Panoorin ang mga laban sa tatlong exclusive channels at iba pa in high definition anytime and anywhere. But subscribe lang sa Sports Action Pack for only 300 pesos. Still here at the Phil Sports Arena, it's Streamline versus Chari Pigo. Set number three, Billy Capistrano, Zimmer, Basho. Jana Ejido, our courtside reporter. We got Cat Bell all fired up and ready to go. Same goes with Risa Sato. Nabor to Abby Marano. Staunton, she's been a little bit silent for the past few sequences. Here comes Pons off the hands and away. Once again, Bernadette Pons just a little too weak. Too quick on that wrist action, making sure she gets that quick snap and the ball goes down right away. And she has been incredible at this reinforced confidence. See, they got, uh, I think they got 14 each, talking about That's Pons right. and Staunton. All tied up 14. They got 15. the cool smashers and this bike of the set is brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong and Mayan as we listen to this timeout called by Coach Kung Fu. Dito sa may zone 3 hanggang zone 2. Ang bola mo na andito lang sa may zone 1. Padalin mo dito sa loob lang attack line para may ibabato na mas maayos. Jasmine, binablock mo yung antena. Nasa si Jas? Binablock mo yung antena. Kanina pa yan. Ang antena ang best spiker yan, best blocker ng antena. Umangat yan dito ng konti para makuha mo yung cross court ni Pons. Naintindihan. Unless ang bola nasa tigit sa antena, tsaka mukha na yung line mo. Ay wala na andito. Ito ko o. Same spot, same spot ang binamanatan sa atin. And the star of that timeout was Bernard and Pons. They were trying to figure out cross court of hers. She's been doing that time and time again in this game. They need to find a solution yes. for Pons because she is a problem right now for Cherry Tigo. That is inside for Erica Staunton. Lucky ace. Sorry, that was Kyle Negrito. Lucky ace for her just hitting that corner. That's uh, three service aces already for Kyle Negrito. Nabor finds Cat Bell. Joust at the net. Pons right off Coach Kumpo's timeout to the irony of it all. See, we're the Pons now with 16 points. I mean, during that timeout, Coach Kung Fu was saying, Bantayan yung cross court, but this time, Bring the Pons, yes, tried to go a little bit down the line and still very effective. Negrito continues to serve. That's a good one. Cat waiting for it. Dug up by Atienza. Pons again! Oh! That's gotta feel good. I mean, look at the variations of the angles that she can execute down the line. Sharp cross. 
general cross court to the wow. libero. No problem for Bernadette Pons. And right in front of Cat Bell, no oh, yeah. less. Oh, yeah. I wonder what Cat is going to do after that. But Bernadette Pons, again, amazing, amazing athleticism, amazing volleyball. We're watching from her right now as Negrito will continue to serve. Lead is ballooning here for Cream Line. Cat Bell fires one. Good cover. Pons again. Oh, there's going to be a challenge. Mid play, there's going to be a net touch challenge called by the Cherry Tigo crossovers. It's a six point lead now for the cool smasher. So if you're cherry, this is or this should be a cause of for alarm for your team. So far it's been Bernadette Pons uh, making or doing the damage here on behalf of the cool smashers and uh, Kyle Negrito on the service line has been very effective. The Cherry Tigo crossovers cannot make a good A pass or perfect first ball so that, you know, they can execute plays or give good sets to Cat Bell. So far, it has been, you know, yung, yung buka na set. Kaya right. medyo nahihirapan din mag-adjust yung spikers ng uh, crossovers. So we will see how things will pan out here at the Phil Sports Arena as we take a look at this challenge, this replay. Was there a net touch? That's MG, if I'm not mistaken. There wasn't any. So the challenge will be unsuccessful for Coach Kung Fu. And the good vibes continue here for the Cream Line Pool Smash Smashers. Stay true to their name. We have Ea Laure in attendance as well. Negrito. Bump set to Cat Bell. Off the hands and out. And she has always been going for that cross court kill, but it has always been sakto. He Kyle Atienza, but uh, that time around she went or opted for a little bit longer hit. It worked out well for her. It's going to be a chance ball here for. Cherry Tigo, Bicar to Karandang, finding that donut hole in the defense of Creamline. I mean, a point is a point. Whether it's a hard spike or a soft touch, they will get one more here, courtesy of Zakarandang. Great court awareness by Zakarandang. One soft touch. You were talking about it. See it. all the variations yes. in her attacks. You can put her anywhere, give her any kind of set, and she will execute it properly. And that's the thing. So if you're the crossovers, if you're trying to scout the kinds of hits that Bernadette Pons is executing, you know, it's probably lines all over the court. <laughs> A big question mark yeah. also. As we get back to this game, MG. Just a little under that ball, goes out. And MG has not scored since our second set. So far, she has seven, a little quiet here in the third. As Malin Paat will be on deck to serve for the red shirts. They're down by five points. MG, nothing. Cat waiting for it. Babalike Michelle, finally something for Michelle Gumabao. Right now, Green Line still holding on to that lead, 16 to 10.
A very familiar face on your screen. You have Gemma Galanza. A crowd, a fan favorite, supporting her teammates. You got Coach Tai as well. Yeah. In Former attendance. mentor of the Cool Smashers. We got uh, Jorge De Brito as well looking on. So a lot of people watching this highly anticipated matchup between the Cherry Tigo crossovers and the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Right now, Cream Line, they are up by six points in our third set. They need a good swing. Galang is blocked. They go to Cat Bell. Good cover from Cream Line. Staunton tries and is successful. Once again, uh, just one on one uh, with the blockers here. Staunton already has that advantage in terms of height and elevation. Having uh, Aragalang right across you, you know, you would already have so much advantage at that. Cream Line looking like a well oiled machine here in the third set. Playable still. It's back with Cherry. They find Cat. <laughs> But the crossovers that, you know, again, unless we hear a whistle, the play do doesn't stop. And uh, a little bit scrappy defense on the side of the crossovers. But it works. One and done. Point closed and uh, retrieved by Cat Bell. Staunton. Cat from the back row means business. That was Revilla. Jasmine Abor goes to Kat. She wasn't ready for that set. A little too low. That's going to be an attack error for Bell. She was also out of place back there. She usually plays middle back, but that back row set was giving middle or back, right, right back rather. So a couple of problems we're seeing here on the side of Cherry Tigo. How are they going to recover? Dapple fires one. Staunton. Wow. Great placement again from Erica Staunton. We've been seeing her go cross court, but this time a soft down the line hit works as well. Wala tayong sa timing, sa totoo lang. Ang dami natin gustong gawin. Ang dami natin gustong gawin. Gawin natin kung saan tayo nananalo ng puntos. Okay? Maganda yung intention, kaya lang execution natin wala. Bukod sa bad execution, wala na sa timing talaga. Huwag natin ipilit. Normal yan ay, kasi may nagbablock. Pero nagiging effective naman eh. Huwag na lang ano, huwag na kayo masyadong mapalabok. Ang palabok na ginagalaw. Bakit? Kasi wala sa tono, in timing nyo na lang. You can clearly see the urgency in Coach Kung Fu's voice. But don't forget, we have another match coming after this, a third out of our Tuesday triple header. It's Next Sled versus PLD team. That is going to be a good one as well. But going back to what Coach Kung Fu said, just urging the girls to stay or stick with the system. Rather, Cat Bell sends it over. Galang. Wow. Team like doing everything they can here. They're gonna chase it. Chance for Creamline. An exclamation point from BDL. I mean, at this level of volleyball, you cannot give a free ball because chances are it's gonna be converted to a point right away. Look at this. El Negrito activating the middle blockers, and usually when that happens, it's a one point game. We have Shaya Adorador on the court now for Cherry Tigo. First time seeing action in this game. Aragalang from the right pin makes it work. Aragalang with 10 points now. 
first point here in set number four. It's been pretty quiet so far. And you rarely see any emotions from <laughs> Ara when she plays, but she let out a little scream. <laughs> <Emerson again. laughs> she let out a little scream, uh, maybe a scream of relief after that attack. Not for long, that is a second straight point for BDL. I mean, look at the advantage of Streamline. You got Staunton in front, you got BDL, and for the middle blocker to be as effective as one of your best scorers, you know, that's a sign of a high level team. That's a luxury for the Cream Line Crew Smashers. Scoreboard reads 21 to 12. Negrito to points, denied. Oh! Great reaction from Seth Rodriguez. Bakalik sa Cream Line. But this one will go to Cherry Tigo. And you gotta commend the hard work, the perseverance of Seth Rodriguez over here. See? And both squads displaying how well they, you know, have that reaction for every touch of the ball, but Seth Rodriguez eventually having a hand by that point. For the points, the cross court again is good. So simple, but so effective. Look at that textbook play from Bernadette Pons. You know, most of her hits so far, at least in this set alone, has been that outside set. So one or two blockers always with her, but uh, that does not dampen her spirits, and she always still manages to convert. 90 point for Bernadette Pons. Another one, too much angle, too strong. for Coach Sherwin. We have Vargas checking in. And Cesc Robles is back as well. She played in that first set, started the game. He will go straight to the service line for the crossovers. For the Pons. Another one, unstoppable. That's her 20th point. Wow, look at that. Bernadette Pons, leading scorer of the Cream Line Pool Smashers. And I bet you guys that her efficiency rating at this point is soaring high. It's sky high for Bernadette Pons. That's outside. Or Vargas. Touching that corner line. Tough ordeal here for Cherry Tigo. They're trying to play catch up. It seems yeah. like it might go to to cream line. I mean, we never know. <laughs> but if you're Cherry Tigo, you just want to finish it strong, no matter the outcome of this third set. Gumabao straight nice. to the hands of Rodriguez. Karandang. MG. Bump set to Jasmine Abor. MG again, popped up. What a, what a series of plays we're having here. Interesting ones. Where that Ponce, Babalik, a cream line. A rally we have. Ponce. It's still alive, everybody. Aragalan from the back row. MG sent back. MG again. Jasmine Abor. The point for the board ending that long rally for both teams. Both squads here on the floor huffing and puffing after that long rally. Look at this, Jasmine Nabor in the end using her smarts to get their much needed point 16 23. Points again. Oh, wow. Shia will try. Where are the balls? Hustling her way through. And Greenline is now at set point. That is point 21 for Bernadette Swans. Look at this one more time. Kyle Negrito just knowing who to set to finally make their lives easier here in set number three. Karandang. MG rolls it over. And nobody on the side of the Cherry Tigo expecting that. Nobody was.
was ready. What a smart move from Michelle Gumabao as the Green Line Clue Smashers will take the set from Cherry Tigo, Kyle Negrito orchestrating the offense of Green Line so beautifully, especially for Bernadette Ponce. We have Erica Staunton, everybody getting a chance to shine in this set. Again, Green Line takes the third from the crossovers, 25 to 60. That, uh, you're once again uh, watching this match between the Cool Smashers and the Cherry Tigo crossovers here at the Phil Sports Arenas. Two sets to one. Lamang ang uh, Cream Line Cool Smashers. This time, uh, the Cherry Tigo crossover seems like they burned out more fuel for set number three. The score was 25 to 16 in favor of the Cool Smashers. Overall, a lot of uh, scrappy defense happening on the side of the red shirts and uh, Greenline just powering through. The momentum was there. Everything was organized in terms of the defense pattern, which lacked on the side of the crossovers. As you look at that, the last point by Michelle Gumabao, an easier roll shot in the middle that ended set number three. While we look at the screens right now, 25 to 16 in favor of the Cream Line Pool Smashers. Once again, they outproduced in terms of attack points, 19 to 11 blocks. Cherry Tigo got one against none for uh, Cream Line Pool Smashers, but the Aces won against none as well in favor of the ladies in white and pink. And let's see if they get the momentum back, talking about the crossovers, as Kat Bell, interestingly enough, is starting to serve for her squad. Good first ball from Lazaro. Get great block. They're recycled. And this time, first blood is drawn by the Cherry Tigo crossovers. You got Michelle Gumabao on your screens. Just a while ago, she has already tallied nine points so far in this match. Kat Bell in the meantime with 25 big points already. Free ball. Let's see who Nabor will choose. Aragalang in the middle, but a little too overcooked on that one. That is going to be outside for Ara Galang with 10 points under her belt in today's match. Coach Kung Fu seems uh, not too happy with that one. I mean, they already got the free ball, and chances are you should convert those. Uh, free boss given to you, but an error made there, giving a free point to the Cool Smashers and Michelle Gumabo just powering right. through that one. You know, for the Cherry Eagle crossovers, see, they have not tasted defeat here in our reinforced conference. 
There could be a little bit of pressure on, on yeah. their side, especially going up against a mammoth team like the Cream Line Cool Smashers. And maybe that's why they're a little bit serious, taking things too yeah. seriously, or maybe over-calculating yes. everything. I mean, we always see, you know, if you see, you know, on your screens, Pauline Gaston, she would always, you know, have these happy, little happy antics young, yes. that you see on the corner of your screens. But this time, everybody's just wearing that game face in this match. We're not mad about it. We love the, <laughs> we love the focus. But again, they're down by one here. Streamline with two sets as we turn it over to Jana Ehido. Go ahead, Jana. Everything working in the favor of the Dreamline Pool Smashers, especially back at set number three. And with all of that from the sidelines out here, Billy and Z, the players, the bench, and even the coaches very much agree. Michelle Gamaba formerly mentioned that the role of the team's first stringers are ever as important in seeing all of their production today. Each of them earned a big thumbs up from Coach Sherwin over the timeouts. Now, as they are a set away from clinching this let's see if they'll cruise towards it or if cherry tigo could give them a run for their money now all of this you can catch on the filipinas live app download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos a month back to you billy and z thanks for that jana if you're if you need your green line you want this to be that last set but if you're cherry tigo you gotta Suck it out until the end. It's going to be a block touch challenge called by the Cool Smashers on that last sequence. But that's, that's, that's what usually coaches want to see from uh, the athletes. You know, you start a new set, it's back to zero. Another that's opportunity right. to snatch another one. But uh, here we go. No need for a challenge because mm -hmm. we already got a green card. And we love to see yes. the, the green card <laughs> being raised. That's a fair play moment. Yep. So that was Shaya Adorador, I believe, admitting to that error. Sato serving. Aragalang again, she's denied to cover for Cherry Tigo. Coach Kung Fu looking at the bench, finding which player can make the difference at this point. It's early on, but the, he chooses says Robles. You can see that frustration also on the side of Coach Kung Fu. It's going to be a crucial one here for Jerry Tigo, says Robles. Oh, Erica Staunton. And with that, Dreamline will send us to our... Sorry, that was going to be a Jerry Tigo timeout. Ngayon, may umaatake ulit. Yung coverage natin, nawawalan. Lalo na kapit. Ah, ang dali lang lang ang bola, wala na tayong coverage. Titigil nyo na agad. Talo na tayo. Doon pa lang talo na tayo. Local, kayo magtrabaho ng gusto. Patakin natin yung patakin, sikat. Problema sa inyo yung nagiging problema eh. Bakit? Isang galaw tigil, isang galaw tigil. Hindi naman nanalo dyan. Nananalo tayo. Pero yung hassle natin sa depensa, aggressive tayo sa atake, tapos nag-uusap kayo sa loob. Yun ang nagiging problema natin this time. Okay? Uh, locals, let's go, Locals! Uh, 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 we all heard it. It was directed at the local players of the Jerry Diga crossovers. What Coach Kofu wants to happen is let Cat attack. But you have to do your job first. Before so the ball reaches her, you have to do your job first. And I mean, hopefully that's going to spark something with our local players I for Cherry. you got to expect that Creamline will, will and always get their points. Because that's what they're known for. They at that point, and just like that, on you, Michelle Gumaba powering through. But the thing is, you have to respond and find a solution to that as we head to our first technical timeout.
got Bernadette Pons of the Creamline Crew Smashers leading the way for her team. 24, 21 rather. Big points for Pons as we get back to this game. Yes, Robles! She is fighting back, challenging the blockers of Creamline. Quite a steep hill to climb here, talking about the Cherry Tigo crossovers. You know, the mood is down, the momentum is a little bit slow on their side, especially with hits coming from the Cool Smashers. So just like that, Michelle Bumaba not slowing down at all. It does not help their case that there is so much confidence in the side of Creamline. And as opposed to the energy that we see here with Cherry Tigo, ibang iba naman oh, yeah. sa Cool Smashers. Everybody's relaxed, everybody's having a good time. Sabi nga ni MG in that time out. Let's just have fun. And it's exactly what they're showing right now. I mean, it doesn't help also that look at, looking at the, the side of the crossovers here, just, you know, less effort that we've seen earlier on. And, uh, the grit isn't there anymore. The body language speaks for itself. Just a little bit frustrated that things are not going their way. It's going to be a steep hill to climb. Especially when you got all of their players. I mean, I'm not just talking about where the points here, Erica Stanton, but you have the likes of BDL. You have yeah. MG. Yep, everyone yep. contributing. And I mean, so far right now for the Cherry Ash, Cool Smashers, you got four athletes with double digits. Gumaba with 13, De Leon with 11, Stanton with 18, and Pons with 21 big points. Meanwhile, for the Beauty Tigo, there's only two. Catbell with 25, Galang with 11, and uh, it's, it was Tapol trailing behind Galang with five points, who's not even on the court right now. So they need more offense yes. here for Cherry Tigo. They need that power in order to help Kat as well as Ara. They roll this one over. Bikar will go to Karandang. And you know, that's what we're looking for from <laughs> Cherry Tigo. And a count on Zakarandang to give that energy as well. We all know, you know how she is. She likes the celebrations of the court. We'll give her that. That was an incredible attack from Karandang. You just have to work on your strengths. Mm -hmm. And once again, honestly, the strengths of the Cherry Tigo crossovers is that they play light, they play happy, they play energetically. But so far right now, nobody on the side of the crossover showing some bright spots so far. Everybody just frustrated. They're not playing as a team. In the meantime, look at your screens. Look at the Green Smashers just enjoying their time on the court. Lead is ballooning at this point in the fourth. But Faaz has other fans. If there's anybody who can lead the squad aside from Kat, aside from Chang Abi, it's going to be Mylene Faaz. Mylene Faaz decorated outside or opposite hitter here. Seeing uh, some more minutes. Set number four. Six point lead for Creamline. Going to go for the drop. Good cover from Bikar. Faaz. Nothing yet. They send it to Pons. And she's blocked. Something finally happening here yeah, yeah. for Cherry Tigo. About time for the red shirts. And Coach Sherwin sensing this, he will call for time. The most important thing to rotation is to make it easy to make it easy for each person. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Hey, Oren, be mine. Happy. Smartly timed timeout called by Coach Sherwin trying to break the momentum of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. You have MG also leading uh, this timeout. What is Cat Bell going to do about this? They need to come up with something quick, something good. But how about Erica Staunton with 18 big points under her belt in tonight's match?
match. We have Karandang serving for Jerry Digo. Bernadette Pons. Too strong. I mean, she got blocked earlier, and this time she would want to make sure she hits it right. This time trying to hit high, but a little too high, not even touching the blockers in front of her. Here come the Cherry Tigo crossovers are down by four. Pons. Better net defense for Cherry Tigo. And again, see, so you gotta count on your veterans. You rely on your veterans to lead the way for your team. Mylene Pa just proving to everybody that she deserves to be on the court at this time. Look at that. Providing much more confidence to her teammates as well. Trimming down that lead, Cherry Tigo is. Wow. A great answer back from Bea De Leon now with 12 points of her own. Great setting, great distribution from Kyle Negrito. I mean, I, I saw that set from this angle from where we're sitting. Laser sharp shoot set there. Just how Bea likes it. Back to a four point lead here. Finally, something here for Kat Bell. That is her first point of the fourth set. You know, Kat Bell's efficiency, efficiency has gone down in set number three. I think, again, the first ball has been an issue. The defense pattern has been an issue. So all the balls that has been setting towards her has been those out of system. So hirap na hirap pumalo. Points of the hand. And out. Bernadette Bonds, no problem of whatever kind of set she gets. Look at that. Very simple and effective. Bernadette Bonds. Much to the delight of the Creamline Faithful. Yeah. Bicar goes to Cat Bell finally, also. Showing up here as she should for our fourth set. Let's take a look at this. Getting that first pass and getting that third touch and the point. Keeping things close here in set number four. Three point push for Creamline. Gomabao sent back. Negrito back set. The points. Still nothing. They'll try one more time. Points going for the push. Still alive. It goes to cream line. They give this one to MG. Off the block and out. You have to be steady when you're blocking Michelle Gumabao. But uh, let's look at that one more time. Princess Robles was still sliding. And uh, you got to have that solid, firm left hand as uh, how Daps Dapo showed us earlier. Shai Adorador back on the court for Coach Kung Fu. Alina finds Kat from the back row. Wow. That was Kyla Atienza. Bonds. The car goes to Pauline. And there, that is a Pauline Gaston that we know Palaban. That is her third point of this game. Little silent the past couple of sets, not seeing a lot of action here, but two points in the fourth. Pauline Gaston making things work to her advantage. It wasn't the perfect of sets, but she manages to squeeze it in and get the point. Erica Stockton oh. targeting my big bat. Great decision there from Kyle Negrito, knowing that Nina Bicar was her blocker. Look at this. Just too easy for Eric Stock.
the Phil Sports Arena. Set number four between Creamline and Cherry Etigo. Four point push for the Cool Smashers. Here comes Shaya Adorador. Credit the defense of Bernadette Ponce. Erica Staunton sent back. They go to MG. Pure power from Michelle Gumabao. 16 points for her. Look at this, Michelle Gumabao racking up seven points in this set alone. And this spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. Your confidence on the side of the Cool Smashers. They make this a five-point ball game. Nabor fights Karandang. Nabor to Adorador. You can see the clean line. Yeah. Really just fighting it out, but Aragada gets one for her squad. I mean, they're just making sure that they get touches no matter where the ball goes, but they still are able to control to where they bring the ball. Yeah, you know, even out of system sets have been very effective for the school smashers. One hand set. Jasmine the board, the cat bell. You can see the scream. You can hear the scream. And she is feeling it. Cat bell giving much more confidence to her favorite teammate as she shared with us. So starting line up, putting some love. Remdes, <laughs> Showing know? some love to putting yeah. to Remdes. Negrito to Staunton. Shia waiting in the wings. Staunton. Popped up by Buding. Here comes Adorador again. Nothing yet. Staunton from the left. Wow. Cat Bell doing everything and anything she can. We're still going here. Still alive. Buding to Jasmine Abor. Mabao, you know, I was already expecting that she would end the rally so much earlier on, but look at this. But look at this, one-on-one -on -one at the net. So far, has been the difference in this set. Gumabao, sharp serve. Oh, it's still playable. They send this one over. Negrito chooses Erica Stockton, and of course she will. Coach Kung Fu, they need to fix a couple of things. He will call for time. We got to listen in. Take a look at this first. We have Erica Staunton making her presence felt. Pure muscle for our reinforcement from the Cream Line Cool Smashers out of Chicago, Illinois. 20 points for Erica. He said it was a battle between the young gun and the veteran. Cat Bell versus Erica Staunton. MG serving, Nabor to Karandang with a quick one. You know, when you always activate your middles, chances are it's a point, and the, the blockers that you will get will always be a one-on-one -on -one situation at the net. And a great acknowledgement there by Jasmine Nabor, just activating Zakarandang, you know, not giving her just an opportunity, but the confidence that she needs. A chance for Creamline. Great defense from Cherry Tigo. Ara. Just a board to Cat Bell. Yeah. And that Money. is the kind of set that Cat Bell loves. And she will reward you with that perfect execution. Right on the money. 
for Cat Bell. So she can easily go above her blockers and find that really sharp angle that she loves hitting. Back to a three point game. They need a good swing. Not quite for Cherry Figo. Another Erica Staunton point for you. You know, just Dreamline maximizing Erica Staunton in the front row. This time, you got Bonds in the front row. Back to a four-point lead for the white shirts. 21 points, 19 attacks, one block for Erica as Nabor finds Kat again. Wow. There we go wow. for Kat Bell. 30 points now for our Charitigo reinforcements. Look at this, Kat Bell all fired up this time. A little too wide on that set, but it was no problem for her. It's crunch time for the crossovers. And Kat Bell means business, but oh. so does Bernadette Pons. Look at that set from Kyle Negrito. Just a perfect kind of set to Bernadette Pons. Let's watch that one more time. Low and fast, just the way she likes it. Look at that. Not even the blockers were in place for that set. Blink and you would have missed yeah. that attack from Brenda Pons from Kyle Negrito. We have Laurie Bernardo also checking in for the first time today. Where the floor goes to Kat. Brenda Pons off the hands of Shia Agorador. There is absolutely no stopping points in this game. This could be one of her best games in the PPL that right. we've ever witnessed. I mean, looking at the stat sheets here, just in set three alone, she racked up 11 points. So, you know, she has been consistently producing points here, at least five points for every set. Five points in set one, five again for set two. So this is going to be a tough ordeal here for the Cherry to crossovers play and catch up, especially when you got Bones on fire. Cat Bell answers back. Cat Bell is not letting things slide on her watch. Look at this. Good defense from Aragalang and Jasmine Nabor just pushing it all the way to Cat Bell. And right now it has been all Cat Bell for the Cherry Tio crossovers. Jasmine Nabor serving for the red shirts. Nabor finds rid of the Bones. That's outside for Pons. Little breather here for, for Cherry Tigo. Sobrang kabig daw sabi ni Pons. As we head on over to a timeout called by Creamline. Diba? Yes. Ang nangyayari, B to X, C. Walang option, diba? Eh, eh, nakaka-10 points na si Pons ka, no? Diba? Pero din natin, dito na rin may si Bob ganyan, okay yan. Huwag nyo dito dalin. Ha, dito, dito, tulak nyo dito, tulak. Ito, big quick. Let's go. 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 let us go this will definitely put them at an advantage if they do end up winning against Cherry Tigo. On the other hand, we mentioned this as well. Z, Cherry Tigo has not suffered a loss yet prior to that set loss they had in this game. They never yep. dropped a single set. Bonds with a push. Chance for the white shirt. They go to Risa Sato. Quick plays have been uh, executed here on the side of the Cool Smashers. Look at this again. Free ball. You cannot just easily give those away. Even against two blockers, Risa Sato managing to get a point. And Creamline ultimately just having a good time in this game. Can we really see that? And they're poised to win this match. Cherry Tigo, I mean, again, anything can happen yeah. in these kinds of games. But it will be very, very difficult, especially at the level that Cream Line is playing right now. At any rate, there will be a challenge 
called by Cherry Tigo. As we await the final decision, there's a net fault challenge that Coach Kung Fu and the rest of the coaching staff called right now. After this, don't forget there is another game we have next at versus PLD. Once again, uh, four athletes on the side of the Cool Smashers with double digits. And uh, very much all around distributed sets by Kyle Negrito. On the other hand, it has been uh, only Cat Bell doing much damage for the crossovers. And circling back to what Coach Kung Fu said, that the locals also have to step it up. They have to do yep, yep. their job as well. Let's take a look at this. Was there a net touch on a cool smasher? From this point of view, I don't think there was any. It was close though. Right. So it's going to be a match point still for the Cream Light Cool Smashers. If they do end up winning, this will be their second win of our reinforced conference. And they're going to be tied two to one. Two mm -hmm. wins, one loss. That's right. Cat Bell. Negrito goes to Bernadette Pons. And what a perfect way to end this game for the Green Line Cool Smashers, winning their second game of our reinforced conference. Incredible teamwork that we witnessed from the white shirts. As this finale play of the game is brought to you by Yakult. Yakult every day, every day, okay. Commend the Cherry Tigo crossovers as well for that fight that they put up against the Cool Smashers at the end. Right. Nakulangan lang talaga ng yes. firepower. And there are there are many games for them to bounce back to, but give this one to the Cool oh, Smashers. Yeah. Offense, of course, we've already expected that from the Cool Smashers, but also the defense. You know, everybody just hustling, making sure they sacrifice their bodies just to get a touch of the ball. Look at the, uh, the scores on your screens. 25 to 20, 24 to 26, 25 to 16, and 25 to 19. Dreamline the Cool Smashers will go home with their second win. Incredible game between these two squads. You know, we were talking about it. See, there was a lot of hype surrounding this game. Oh, it yes. definitely did not disappoint sa lakas ng palo that we saw from our reinforcements. That was that premier matchup that we had. Erica Staunton and, of course, Kat Bell. Staunton with 21 big points. Kat finishing things off with 31 of her own. Great match from both our squads. And right now, let's turn it over to Jana Ejido, who is with our player of the game, none other than Bernadette Bots. That's right, uh, Billy and Z. I'm here with our player of the game, Bernadette from 24 attack points, 44% attack efficiency, and 23 excellent receptions. Bernadette, congratulations. Back last Tuesday, ng last game nyo, 9 points, and today, 24 points. Saan nang galing yung motivation mo at naiangat mo yung laro mo today? Ayun, um, syempre, yung last game nga, sabi mo na, yun, 9 points lang yung naging output ko. So, parang, Ako mismo, personally, hindi rin talaga ako... Uh, medyo disappointed ako doon sa naging performance ko. Kasi alam ko na I can do better, I can do more. So parang yun yung naging motivation ko for today's game talaga. And last time na nagkita kayo with the Cherry Tigo crossover swept yung Cream Line Cool Smashers. And today, naingangat yung ngaro. Paano kayo naghanda for this game knowing na Cherry Tigo yung kalaban niyo? Ayun, syempre, expected na talaga na mag, uh, magiging, hindi magiging madali yung laban. So, everyday talaga pinag-aralan namin kung paano namin sila ikakounter. And yun, parang in lang namin lahat ng mga ininsayo namin. And yun, mag ito yung naging result. And finally, back-to-back -back wins for the Cream Line Pool Smasher. Syempre, masaya kayo lahat. And of course, tell me, paano ka nagiging comfortable sa sistema na to, especially being a starter? Um, paano ba? <laughs> Siyempre kasi, uh, ano, ano ulit, sorry. Paano ka nagiging comfortable, comfortable sa sistema niya ngayon? 
Uh, kasi syempre sobrang comfortable din yung mga teammates ko na kasama sa loob ng court and sobrang gaan lang din nilang kasama and mas mailalabas mo talaga kung ano yung laro mo. All right, to everyone watching here sa Phil Sports Arena and to everyone watching wherever they are, go ahead, greetings. Um, thank you so much sa lahat na nandito, na nanood, and sa lahat ng mga team bahay. And binabati ko yung family ko, kay mama, kay papa, yung mga kapatid ko, and kay Mr. and Mrs. Nang, and sa lahat ng management ng Creamline, and of course, condolence sa Panaga family para sa itong game na to, Ate Pang. Yes! And Love you, Nita. Love you. All right, congratulations once again to Bernadette Ponce. May pahabol pa. Happy birthday, Ate Pang. Happy birthday, Ate Pang. Happy birthday. We love you. We love you. Happy birthday. Congratulations once again to the Creamline Cool Smashers. At birthday down ni Pang. And to our player of the game, Bernadette Ponce. Back to you, Billy and Z. Parang hindi naman sila masaya. Konti lang. At yes, again, congratulations to the Cream Line Cool Smashers. What a, what a great team win for all of them. Of course, we have another game coming up next to wrap up our Tuesday triple header. We got the PLDT High Speed Hitters versus the next Led Chameleons. Now, for my partner, One Sports, the Hervasho, Jana Hito, Derek Marvin Chavez, and all the amazing people behind this production. I'm Benica Pestrano, and this has been the 2024 PBL Reinforced Conference. Don't go away because we got PLDT versus Nexed coming right your way.